ladies and gentlemen, the International Boxing Club proudly presents 15 rounds of boxing for the World Middleweight Boxing Championship, sanctioned and under the supervision of the Illinois State Athletic Commission, ring officials assigned by same. The judges, Frank McAdams, Ed Klein, at the bell, Mike Murphy. Counting for the knockdowns, Frank Bay Young. Examining position at the ringside, Dr. J.M. Houston. Wearing white and black trunks, weighing 155 and a half pounds, the world's well weight boxing champion, Sugar Ray Robinson. Wearing black and white trunks, weighing 160 pounds, from New York, the world's middleweight boxing champion, Jake LaMotta. The referee, Frank Sakura. All right, Ray. You boys received your instructions from the Illinois State Athletic Commissioners. I'm here to enforce them. I want you to break clean. No rabbit punching, no kidney punches. Be careful of your low punches, they may cost you a round. In case of a knockdown, I want you to go to your furthest corner and stay there till I tell you to come out fighting. Any questions? Shake hands and come out fighting. Well, here it is. It's about the whole world's been waiting for. Brought to you tonight by Pat's Blue Ribbon Beer from the Chicago Stadium. And all things happen in a great rush. The buzzer sounds for round number one. And I think you know both the boys. The present middleweight champion of the world, Jake LaMotta. The present welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson, the challenger for the middleweight championship. number one of a 15 round world's middleweight championship out here in Chicago in the white trunks Sugar Ray Robinson in the black trunks Jake LaMotta Lamada's nose and right eye shows red around the skin from punching so early in the fight by Ray Robinson. Two minutes to go of the first round. One minute to go of the first round. This has been the plan of the battle by LaMotta to constantly bore in and punch strictly for the stomach during the early rounds. Robinson's plan was to box during the early rounds. A half a minute to go of round number one.
There's the bell ending round number one. And it showed Jake LaMotta to great advantage. Round number two of the World Middleweight Championship out. Jake LaMotta, Sugar Ray Robinson. enthusiasts know this is the sixth meeting between this pair. Between 1943 and 1945, they met five times. Sugar Ray won four. LaMotta won once. The only time Robinson was ever defeated in 123 bouts. Two minutes to go of the second round here at Chicago. Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer, mighty happy to bring it your way. the fight of the year. Lamada continues as the aggressor. One minute to go of round number two. Lamada's face is red from the punching so far, although he's had the better of the punching. Go of the second round. the bell ending the second round of our world middleweight championship out and now we come up to round number three in the Paps Blue Ribbon Parade of Champions another Blue Ribbon event here in Chicago Lamada never trained in his career for a fight as much as he trained for this one, boxing over 100 rounds in anticipation of meeting Robinson. Two minutes to go, round number three.
Robbie's working away on Lamata's face to see if he can't do some damage by inflicting some kind of cut. to go as they wrestle right over our Pat's Blue Ribbon Bear microphone. minutes ago of the third round. Well, that ends round number three. The bell for round number four. Sugar Ray Robinson in the white. The middleweight champion, Jake LaMotta, in the black trunks. of blood appears just inside Lamada's bright nostril. Robinson was a fury then looking for the KO. Two minutes to go, that straight right rocked Lamada. Robinson is also bleeding slightly from both nostrils. One minute to go, round number four. And now Robinson's beginning to use combinations of punches, including the bolo, as well as the jabs and the hooks. Lamada keeps boring in. That's the best blow Lamada has scored tonight. Half a minute to go, fourth round. the bell ending round number four. The fifth round of a 15 round world championship fight for the middleweight title here in Chicago. And there they go. Both boys have attending positions in their corners tonight. 
with honorary second cards. Two minutes to go of round number five. from Robinson's nostril. The left with the right cross. One minute to go, round number five. Half a minute to go of the fifth round. One half a minute to go. There's the bell ending round number five. Well, six rounds of our 15 rounds have gone by. The seventh round is due to come up here at the Chicago Stadium. Perhaps Blue Ribbon Beer mighty happy to bring it your way, and a surprising fight it is. As Jake LaMotta, three and a half to one underdog, is wrapping up some beautiful boxing. Sugar Ray Robinson has never been knocked out in his career. Jake LaMotta has one technical knockout against him, that very curious fight a few years ago, and knocked out in the fourth round, he was still on his feet. Less than two minutes to go in round number seven. Combination of punches with that left hook rolled Ray Robinson. One minute to go, round number seven.
Half a minute to go of the seventh round. Both punches by LaMotta explain themselves. There's the bell ending round number seven. And this crowd is thoroughly enjoying the spectacle of a world middleweight championship as the defending champion, Jake LaMotta, continues to force the fight and to keep slugging away at Sugar Ray Robinson. Warning buzzer for round number eight of this 15 rounder for the World Middleweight Championship. Jake LaMotta, Sugar Ray Robinson. That's Sugar Ray coming out now. Two minutes to go of the eighth round. Still the same story. LaMotta, the aggressor. All the anticipation that Robinson would outbox him and cut him to ribbons hasn't materialized. Jake was hurt a little bit by that exchange. In the previous exchange, Robinson was blocking with his elbows. One minute to go, eighth round. Robinson's last big round was the fourth. Jake piled it up in the fifth and sixth. Well, Robbie's giving himself away. He's looking at the clock. Half a minute to go around eight. quite excited the crowd because of the constant exchanges. Well, you can see if middleweight champion Jake LaMotta loses his crown tonight to Sugar Ray Robinson, at whom we are now gazing. It isn't going to be because of lack of determination, confidence, or that proper physical condition. Robinson, you know, just returned from a strenuous campaign in Europe where he knocked out five of their top middleweights and welterweights. One one decision has taken it a bit slower since he's already in peak condition. That may be why he's fighting slowly. Jake LaMotta, in his corner, believes he can whip anybody in the world, and he's trying to prove it tonight. He is set, as you can see, to make an all-out effort to retain that heralded crown. Never having boxed more than 30 rounds in training before, 27 for Marcel Serdan, as I told you, the Bronx buzzsaw has worked over 100 rounds in preparation for tonight's fight, and it certainly shows it. Round number nine is now coming up in this middleweight championship bout here in Chicago. There's the bell.
In his dressing room before the fight, Robinson was completely relaxed. Lamata was very nervous and tense. There's a peculiar wealth beginning to show up to the right of Lamata's eye, his right eye. Two minutes to go around number nine. It isn't a serious bump. Yet. Some of those short shots by Robinson would rock a truck, but they don't seem to move LaMotta. One minute to go, round number nine. to go the ninth round. the bell ending round number nine well you're back with us here at Chicago Stadium for round number 10 of the 15 round world middleweight championship bout that is Jake LaMotta in the black trunks in a moment you'll see Sugar Ray Robinson in the white trunks Two minutes to go of the tenth round. Well, they must have told Robbie to go out with his uh, damaging left hook. He likes to put it in in double doses. He's showing it now. That blow was low, but it did no damage coming in as it did. One minute to go of the tenth round. Mm -hmm. 
Jake LaMotta gives indications of being a bit weary from the pounding. But of course, don't let that fool you. There's the bell ending round number 10. There's the buzzer for the 11th round. Al Silvani working on Jake LaMotta. George Gainsford working on Sugar Ray Robinson. They're up on their feet. There's the bell. No knockdown so far in the fight. And that great action by Lamotta, he couldn't score the big one. A slowly tiring Ray Robinson wasn't punching cleanly when he came out of it, missing. Robinson's left hook was low. He was warned by referee Frankie Sakura. One minute to go of round 11. I guess you saw those four blows all cleanly. Robinson was hurting LaMotta. He's hurting him now. Half a minute to go of the 11th round. Robinson set him up with those body blows. Damaged his nose. He has LaMotta on Queer Street holding on. Well, hold on to your hats. This may be it. Round number 12 coming up on your Blue Ribbon events. Brought to you by Pops Blue Ribbon Beer here in Chicago Stadium. Round number 12. Boy, these are all of Ray Robinson's Sunday punches. Round the ringside, the greatest sports fighters in the world. 
course, the greatest names are here from the theater, civic life, sports. Headed, of course, by the president of the International Boxing Club, James D. Norris. Two minutes to go of the 12th round. Lamada's left eye is beginning to close. The punches rock him. He's very weary. He winces when he's hit now. The crowd senses the kill. Lamada is completely on Queer Street. He's fighting now. Cautiously. And rockily. He is badly cut. As far as punching is concerned. Around his right eye. One minute to go, 12th round. Robinson is merciless, keeps looking at the clock. No man can endure this pummeling. Row after row after row from the ring, the crowd is standing and cheering. Lamar is just a catcher with a half a minute to go, mouth wide open, left eye bleeding. is almost over. There's the bell ending the 12th round. The huzzahs of the crowd. Listen to them. Round number 13. The hard luck number. Lamada's left eye is closing gradually. Two minutes to go, round 13. Lamada at this moment, a tired battler, a chopping block. Robinson trying to KO him. For eight rounds, Lamada gave better than he took. And then Robinson unleashed all of his best guns for the last four rounds. These are clean, whistling shots, lefts and rights. How he can survive them, nobody knows. Head shake at the ringside. The fight is going to be stopped on the signal from the chairman of the Illinois Athletic Commission, Joe Kleiner, to Frankie Sikora. The fight was stopped in the 13th round with our scorecard showing that Ray Robinson was ahead 63 points to 57. And in the 13th round, the hard luck round, the championship of the world has changed hands. And there you see it, a champion gone down to defeat. And so now we wait for the announcement from Eddie Plitt, the ring announcer.
and then we'll get up in the ring, join with the radio audience throughout the world, and have a brief interview with Ray Robinson. Now we're waiting for the time to be announced, and it is being handed between the commissioner and Eddie Flick. The fight was stopped on a signal from Joe trying to hit the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by a technical knockout in two minutes and four seconds two minutes of and the fight seconds. eight round, and the new world middleweight boxing champion, Sugar Ray Robinson. Now excuse me while I get in the ring. I'm up in the ring now waiting for a signal from Russ Hodges. Upon that signal, I will bring you Ray Robinson. Thank you, Russ Hodges and Jack Treese. And now here we are in the ring. In just a moment, we'll have George Gainsford bring you the new middleweight champion of the world, who on this occasion, having won it, gives up the world welterweight championship, for which an elimination contest shortly will be held. So as you gaze here in ring, in just a moment, you'll find George Gainsford and his uh, proud battler, Sugar Ray Robinson, the new middleweight champion of the world, here at our microphone. You who have been listening to Russ Hodges by radio around the world, and those of you who have been doing television as we have brought it to you, saw a great champion emerge tonight from a fight in which he was held even for eight rounds and then unloosing his best guns, driving to a remarkable victory as he just cannonaded Jake LaMotta into a death defeat. And when I say that, I mean Jake wouldn't want to quit. I'd like to ask you one question before you go, Ray. When did you know that you had him? Because you were fighting pretty evenly for eight rounds. Well, that's the way we planned the fight. We figured Lamar would be strong as he was the first part of the fight, and the last part of the fight he would weaken. We figured to box along the first part of the fight and wait till he showed signs of weakening, which he did. I see. And in, the, in those late rounds after the eighth, he showed signs, and my manager told me to start to throw and open up the heavier punches. Well, Ray, my congratulations to you. You're a wonderful champion. As a welterweight, I hope that you're the greatest in the middleweight division ever knew. And George, you've got quite a boy, and thank you for everything you helped me with down the dressing room. I guess you're pretty 